So cell therapy um, in Parkinson's disease really can take, as we have heard at the meeting, uh, very different uh, directions. You can, of course, have strategies aimed at disease modifying, but you can also have uh, gene therapy or, or cell therapy for uh, improving the symptoms. And so in terms of the first one, uh, disease modifying, uh, there are two ways, again, that we can see. One is to repair with cell therapies, to repair a defective network. Um, I think that that's, of course, very promising. Uh, of course, we all would like to achieve that. I think that I'm probably more on the corner of be still the judge uh, our, our needs to tell us if that it's altogether possible. Uh, neural pathways are very difficult, are very complex to emulate and to repair uh, in the brain. So it is possible, but I think it's probably, to me, I'm not too sure that that's really the directions uh, I'm the most excited about. I'm much more excited about using cell therapy, for example, to try to modify the environment. One thing that we have to remember is that a dying neuron, for example, in Parkinson's disease, it's not dying in isolation. The cell is surrounded by many other cells, i.e. glial cells, for example. Those glial cells are also sick or can be affected by the disease. And they create really a, what I will call a hostile environment. And so one of the things we can do is to try to um, pacify the environment to make those compromised neurons evolving in a more, um, I would say, welcoming uh, environment to reduce the stress uh, on those compromised cells coming from the outside. And that I think it's probably in my mind, naively, a more achievable goal with cell therapy. You can imagine to engineer cells, uh, to mimic glial cells, for example, and make them welcoming from those uh, compromised or sick neurons. On the symptomatic stage, then uh, it's, it's obvious. If you're missing, for example, uh, levodopa, uh, the dopamine in the brain, you can have those cells producing what it's missing. And so symptomatic therapeutic uh, aspect, I think it's an achievable goal. I think that there have been already some uh, interesting and promising results along this line. So I think that that's probably a, a possible um, uh, goal to achieve. Of course, then you have to challenge that with some current strategies like DBS, for example, and wonder, you know, what, what is the benefit to have cell implanted in your nervous system when you can have instead perhaps electrodes or even new non-invasive uh, strategies. That's a discussion maybe for another day. Uh, there are pros and cons in, in everything, uh, but that's really to me would be a kind of the competition for the selection of cell therapy uh, in symptomatic arena.